definite treat this morning. Please help me in welcoming Amit Talati to the lecture. And his speech today is going to be on values and leadership in Toastmasters. Madam Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, and most welcome guests. Some of you have seen me here before, or some of you am a new face. My name is Amit Talati, and I am your area governor. How many of you know how Toastmasters work? And a club is part of an area. An area is part of a? Division. division. And a division is part of a? District. district. And a district is part of a? Oh, nation. Region. Region. So, my boss is Liz Dashero. Her boss is anybody? Christina. Christina Hilbert, the one and only. <laughs> to run an organization of any size, you need some basic infrastructure. And those things come from leadership skills and ethics and values. It does not matter whether you are running a company, you are running <coughs> a government, or you are running an organization like Toastmasters. In District 47, which is South Florida, which Christina is responsible for, do you know how many members we have? 4,000. 4,000. So she is responsible for 4,000 members. And that's not an easy task. To lead an organization of that size, to be responsible for its goals, to take it to the next level, it takes a lot of leadership skills. Last year, globally, District 47, of which we are all part, was ranked sixth in the world. And that's a huge achievement. And we're trying to beat that this year. How many of you are familiar with this manual? This is the CL manual. This is the first step towards developing leadership skills. How many of you have seen this one? This is part of the leadership excellence series, which is what you do when you are done with this, if you want. Toastmasters, like any organization, is a volunteer organization. So, we do this because we want to develop ourselves and then we do this because we want to take it to the next level. I see here we have a very nice chart which shows the CC achievement chart. <laughs> Once you're done with this, there's a whole new world out there. This is just the tip of the iceberg. Some people go for it, some people don't. And I sincerely hope that most of you will. Toastmasters has a lot of things going for itself which has made it what it is today. First of all, it's values. What's the first thing you think of when you're going to vote? What are the values that this politician has? When you're picking up a life partner, a friend, one of the things that comes to your mind is, are our values in sync? These are the fundamental beliefs and ideas held by as an individual, or an organization. Toastmasters, doesn't matter whether you're here, you're in China, you're in New York, has four values. You could the website and it's something that they promote. This is what we stand for. The first was is, is integrity. We see a lot of this in the world today. Are our politicians really people with integrity? Some, some of you will say yes, some of you will say no, some of you will say who are we talking about? But that's one thing that comes to mind. Are our businesses? Did what happened on Wall Street a reflection of the integrity of bankers? No, I'm not passing judgments here. But it makes you think. Toastmasters has a lot to do with integrity. When you fill up your CC, your CL, all your other certifications, there's a lot of trust that goes there. Nobody's going to do an audit. Okay, did you do this? When, as an area governor, I'm supposed to go to all the clubs and I say that I did it, nobody comes and checks. 
that I did it. A lot of things is based on integrity because we come here to get something, to give something for self-development. Toastmasters has a lot of emphasis on integrity. If you had to hire a plumber and you knew that one was a Toastmaster, the other one you pick it up from the yellow pages. You, you pick both of them from the yellow pages and one of them is a Toastmaster and the other one also has good recommendation. Who would you go for? Probably a Toastmasters because you know that a person who goes to Toastmasters typically adheres to these kind of things when you look around you. Dedication to excellence, which is what CC, CL, DTM is all about. Service to members. If any of you have been to any of the trainings, there's a, there's a district conference coming. We're expecting 500 people. This is the kind of things you realize that it's all about the members. And finally, respect for an individual. This should be number one anywhere, everywhere, in your family, in your organization, in your school. And Toastmasters makes sure that every person is treated with respect. So what do we do about these values? We talk about them. How do we talk about them? We promote Toastmasters. If you look at the pledge that you do, it's very important when it says that I will respect everybody. If somebody is learning, we don't make fun of them. We help them, we encourage them. Explain decisions. We don't make arbitrary decisions. If the location has to be changed, for example, we explain everybody. My club has changed locations four times in two years and I believe even Club Awesome has changed it equal amount of times. And finally, we demonstrate them. We walk the talk. Same thing. Not necessarily just here. But what we do here translates everywhere else. Toastmasters <coughs> is a public <coughs> organization. What we see here is part of a cell which is part of a bigger organism. I sincerely hope that all of you will take your leadership skills to the next level by volunteering either as club officers or even going forward as area officers, division officers or district officers. You will find it extremely rewarding. At the end of the day, you may be doing it for Toastmasters, but it all comes back to you. Madam.